Hey, what's going on everybody? Want to make a quick video now showing how to use index match with multiple match criteria. So here we have two tables again, move in data, community, unit number, a subunit. So the key thing to notice here is we have multiple of unit number 100s and there's A, B, and C of 100, A, B, and C of 101, so on and so forth. Here is the move in date. What we want to do is attach the move out date that resides in the second table. Here is move out date and we want to match it based on this unit subunit combination. And here's how we would do that. Here's how you match using multiple criteria. I'll create a new field called match ID. And it's going to be the combination of unit number ampersand key subunit. The ampersand just joins those two cells together. So it looks like this. And what that is does is provides a unique identifier for each record. So even though we have unit 100 three times, here we can see it's unique. It's got its subunit attached to it. Now let's do the same thing over here. Let's create a second match ID equals unit number ampersand subunit. Let's drag it down. And now we're ready to go. We just need to write our index match in this column here using our match ID as the match field. So equals index. What do we want to return? The move out date, comma, match. What are we looking to match? This value. Where are we looking to match it? From here, comma. What kind of match we want? We want zero which means exact match, and then two parentheses to close it. Before we click enter though, let's click F4 and lock our table references that we do not want to move when we drag the formula and drag down. There you go. You have now, you now have move out date attached to move in date using a unique identifier that is a combination of unit and subunit. Index match using multiple criteria. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. More to come.